Hello everyone and welcome to another Amiga Heaven. This week is a very special week because this week I'm looking at Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure in honour of the announcement that they made this week. Um, because of it's a fun, let's play number one. So now, for those of you who have not seen the film, I'm not going to do these voices because I'm not going to do them justice. <laughs> Basically, Bill and Ted have to pass their final exam. And in order to do so, they need help. It needs to be on a bunch of historical people. And they've done no work throughout the whole of the year. It must be something very, very special or they will fail. So one night at the Circle K. Greetings, my excellent friend. Rufus turns up. There he is. And he needs us to pass. We have to pass because the future of the world depends upon it. That's right. The future of the world depends on two stoners. So the book gives us numbers for places in history. And we have to try to get people to help us in our final exam. Now, there's a chance you're not going to see this final exam. I ain't going to be able to get there, even though I only need six people. On your own. Um, I've never played this game before. But I have a good idea of how to play it because I have the instruction manual. Because you need the instruction manual. Because the instruction manual has the numbers. And basic instructions of how to play the game. So this is Circle K. We don't need this place anymore. There is nothing in here. It is all just to get to grips with what you're doing. So you basically come out. And we put in codes. Now, a bunch of these codes don't have people buy them. So I'm going to try them codes first to see what there is. Ooh. Okay. Um, there appears to be nothing here. Okay, let's go back again then, I suppose. I mean, I'm sure there's not nothing here. I'm sure there'll be something, uh, there's a reason for us to be here. All right, let's try the next one. Ooh, caveman. Oh, it looks like a, what's that supposed to be, like a calculator? Can't talk to him. Yay, we've got a calculator. Lovely. Um, who could use a calculator? Now, from what I can understand from reading the instructions, it is, there's one more left, by the way, is um, you basically have to find items that people are going to want or use in order to, to make them follow you. Basically, that's, that's what this game mostly consists of. And there's nothing here by the look of it. I can't go that way. Nope. All right, so I'm guessing these are things will happen later here type of thing. Right, so let us start from around the top of the list that is in the instruction manual. And we will work our way down, I think. This is Nero, apparently, and I mean, what's that red thing? Oh, it looks like a fire extinguisher. I mean, that shouldn't be in 64 AD, should it really? He needs a fiddle. He needs a good little fiddle, he does. So we're looking for a fiddle for Nero. All right, so let's go on to the next one.
Let's go to 1810. Right, so we need some kind of inspiration. Yep, we can take the flowers. Very nice. Um, he's not going to want any of these. All right, well, we're starting to gather items. I think we should probably uh, see if we can drop one off. So let's go to see um, Einstein, maybe, for the calculator. I really can't see who else would want the calculator. Let's have a look, shall we? Can't go that way. Uh, can't pick up anything on the table. Okay. Can I? Oh, hold on. Yay, there we go. We got him. Right now, we can only carry two in the phone booth at once. And as such, once we get two, we need to drop them off. Well, so let's go see Michelangelo. All right, so we are now going to check out... Oh, a violin. Oh, is that is this going to be like we've got to try and get our way up to the top? Michelangelo is painting the roof, isn't he? He's painting the... I've seen that when I went to Italy. I saw that, the painting. I thought it was going to be much bigger than that. If, if I saw the right thing, probably didn't. I saw something. Um, okay, let's... Can we... Uh, oh, oh, no, I should have, oh, damn it, I should have waited. Oh, no, I'm at the bottom. All right, okay, you know what? Screw it. Um, uh, no, no, won't let me. No, okay, you know what? Let's go and give the uh, the fiddle to Nero, because we can do that now. <laughs> and then we have our first two. So, Nero was long ago. Okay, should just give, will you just follow? Lovely, perfect. So now, let's take him to the San Dimas Mall. Oh, there's one, and there's two. Perfect. All right, well, let's go straight back in and pick someone else. Who should, who should we pick? Um, I'll tell you what, let's go see Joan of Arc. Oh, Joan of Arc. She's burning. I can't choose... Oh, it's not letting me, it's not letting me pick. I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm pushing buttons. I'm trying many different buttons. See, the space bar activates the first object arrow, but it's now, it's not letting me change the option there. It's only just that one. Nah, it's not working. I, 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 I don't know what to do. I'm reading through the book I have and it doesn't tell you, it literally just says use the space bar to select the objects on the left hand side of the screen. So, um, and, and it's, it's only selecting the first one. I don't know what to do. Okay, well, um, looks like Joan of Arc is going to die because I can't select my water, I can't select my fire extinguisher. Alright. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go somewhere else then because it's a waste of time being here. It ain't working. Um, I'm going to try. I still want to try and get one more. And there is a guy right at the top of the list. 
So um, let's go see Socrates. Ooh, we're in Athens. All right. Oh, hold on. No, I'm, I'm no, no, no. Now there is. I, I tried not to read too much of the book. Who is wiser than Socrates? Now, I, oh, I can pick that up. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'll take it with me. Um, I don't. I tried not to read too much of the book because I just wanted to try and play it on my own. But if we're being honest. There was a relatively large. De oh, there was a relatively large description. Do I have to walk over these? Oh no! Nice. Okay. So it looks like if I can jump at the right point, I might be able to grab them. Yeah, there we go. But there was a whole description that says you have to get the question first. And then work your way up the mountain. So I don't know why. I'm, I'm assuming I get the answer at the top of the mountain. Oh, dear. oh, I nearly fell then. Perfect. There we go. All right. So uh, I'm assuming on hard there are more coins. And you have to get all the coins probably. Oh, I'm going to make this jump. Got it up there. Oh, Nothing. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, be careful. Okay, I'm assuming I'm going for this. No one is wiser than Socrates. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Oh. <laughs> and we have a third guy. We'll drop him off. And then we're done. And there we go. We have saved three dudes. Look, they're all together on the right hand side. I'm really confused about the object system. And I feel like if I just use the, uh, and there they are. If I just use the fire extinguisher, I could easily, um, save another one. Um, but I don't know how to get to the objects. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Amiga heaven for another week. I am looking forward to another film. Um, I'm, I'm really interested to see which way they're going to go with it. So please like and subscribe this video. Please take a look at some of the other stuff that I am doing. There are links on the screen right now. If you missed it, it is Retro Weekend. So I played the third part of Story of Thor yesterday. Please take a look at that. It's a really fun game. I'm really enjoying playing that again. And I'll see you again next time.